Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing new and beauty video for February. This is where I show you everything that I received in PR over the course of the month. I get to go over new releases or things that will be releasing soon. We just get to swatch, play around with all things new and beauty. A ton of fragrances in this video too. So if you like fragrance as well as makeup, you're in for a treat. I also like to wear the new products in my PR hauls. So if you like what you see, I will be letting you know which of these products it is on my face. So without further ado, let's dive in, get started and talk about all things new and beauty. In terms of what's on my face, I won't keep you guys waiting too long. I have a lot of the new Buxom. It didn't break. <laughs> Success. The first thing I have here is the Buxom White Russian Eyeshadow Palette. Does this work with my face? I'm trying to make it work. This looks like Valentine's Day bridal makeup to me. It is really, really beautiful and I am wearing a bunch of the shades on my face today. So I did put, take a dip all over my lid up to my brow bone with Decadent in the crease mixed with a little bit of Moscow in the crease just to give it that pink vibe. I have After Dark on the lash line and then I also wore Moscow on my cheeks for that pink kind of glow to my face. So I have a very pink vibe going on today. This blended really nicely. I really loved the blush in particular. The eyeshadows were pretty easy to work with, but I haven't tried any of the shimmers. I just tried the matte shades in that palette. So far that was a pleasant experience and I'm also wearing their White Russian Full Force Plumping Lipstick on my lips. I do have quite a bit of a brown lip liner mixed with this. So I did outline my lips with MAC cork and then I put this on my lips for the pink look. The lipstick itself is really pretty. I love the lips embossing on it. It's a really beautiful pink shade, but obviously I made it a little bit more brown with that lip liner I'm wearing. If you're familiar with the cooling sensation of the Buxom lip glosses, this lipstick actually has that quality to it when you apply it to your lips. So it does give you that kind of plumping feel, which I feel like did work for my lips. Very cooling, refreshing, super smooth and creamy. Like I'm very impressed with this formula. So I'm definitely gonna get more use out of this. I love White Russian Lip Gloss, which they also released with this collection too. Just has a different packaging. Love the aesthetic of this packaging, just a really beautiful pink beige nude. And then along with the collection, they have the White Russian Highlight, which I didn't use today because I am testing out very luminous foundation and I didn't want to put any more glow on my face. It looks like this. It doesn't look like it's too highlighty when you look at it, like kind of has a dull quality to it. So I'm not sure how this is gonna look like on the skin. Definitely has some glow. It's not my personal color of choice. I think this would definitely work better for those with fair skin. It's like a gray pink, which is really odd. So it kind of has that dull quality to it, which I was talking about. But the other products in the collection I have been enjoying, and as you can see, I'm wearing them on my face now. So if you like how it looks, then maybe you would like those. And then this was a very exciting package. Face Halo reached out to me, which I did mention in my yearly favorites. I love their products for removing my makeup at the end of the night because you don't need any kind of makeup remover you just use water on them. It's an eco-friendly way to remove your makeup without using anything disposable or any kind of product. You just use water. What was especially exciting about Face Halo reaching out is that they are now available at 87 Indigo stores across Canada. I think you can actually get them on the Indigo website as well. I think someone messaged me when they were looking into it that online too. So if you're in Canada, we can easily get these at Indigo, which is awesome. So they sent over their original face halo. So their original face halo looks like this just the white one. I know there's dupes out there, but nothing compares to the fibers that Face Halo, the original Face Halo uses. So definitely go with the original in my opinion. I wouldn't buy a dupe. And then they have the black version, which is the Pro, which I personally like. I don't notice a difference between the two. The black one I just like because my makeup doesn't show on these as much. So when I wash it, it just looks a little bit cleaner to me, even though they're both the same. <laughs> you guys know when there's an option, I choose black. And then they also sent over their wash bag for the face halos and it came with a headband as well, which is perfect for when you wash your face at night, you don't get makeup or your skincare in your hair. 
So thank you very much to Face Halo and very exciting news to be readily available in Canada. I love when brands expand to places in Canada. Then Elf sent over a really exciting package. They have some new shades in their Ride or Die lip balm. They sent over their Putty Primer Trio, which I love those sizes because I love to try out new makeup as you guys know but it doesn't make sense for me to buy the full size then they have their putty primer applicator and then their putty blushes really affordable pricing beautiful colors i cannot wait to use those in a trying new makeup i have tried their bombs before and they're really really thick if you like that and have a tint of color i love their original poreless putty primer but i've yet to try their matte or luminous so i'm very excited to test those out so those I will be saving for trying new makeup. And then I also got another beautiful package from Shiseido. Last month I did get quite a bit of makeup product from Shiseido and this month I got their new foundation and some skincare. So I kind of want to do a full face of Shiseido. One of you said I should do that and I think that's a good idea. Initially though, I was really excited when I saw that they had their Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. So I am actually wearing that today and you will be seeing a wear test review, all that coming up in one of my next videos very shortly. I think it's gonna be on Sunday, like a week from today. If you're curious as to what is on my skin, it is this foundation. I personally was a fan of their self-refreshing foundation, so that's why I was very intrigued for this and had to do a review on it. So you will be seeing my full thoughts. I don't wanna give anything away in this video because I do have some thoughts on it. I will share that with you guys soon. They did send over a couple more of their makeup products. Their Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. This one is a more red tone. This is my favorite kind of blush color. These kind of tones give you that sun-kissed vibe. This lip color I instantly was drawn to. The shade is Honey Flash. It is their Lacquer Ink Lip Shine. And it swatches just like it looks in the bottle. How beautiful is that tone? It's a nice light warm tone nude shade. I think it would look beautiful with a black smoky eye. That's kind of how I want to do a look with that. Maybe for a full face of Shiseido, if you guys want to see that video. And then they also sent over one of their Kajal Ink Artists shadow liner brow situations that you can use for either or and this is the black shade so i thought that would be kind of cool to use for that video and then this was an interesting product it's their aura do face eyes and lips it looks like a silver sparkle eyeshadow but the pigment to the base does not come off on your skin it's basically just dropping everything it's basically just a glitter bomb and this unfortunately falls out We'll just rub it on my skin so you can see it gives that kind of wet look to the skin very glittery though but it doesn't give that silver kind of pigment to it it's a very sheer base it's a little bit silvery but not too much there's honestly not much pigment more so just glitter i think because it like shrunk and dried up that kind of formula tends to do that so i just got to be careful with that but that's not something i personally would go out and buy myself just being honest. And then Shiseido sent over a bunch of their skincare, which I am very excited for. We have their Uplifting and Firming Express Eye Mask, and this does have retinol in it, which I can't use on my face, but I think I can get away with it underneath my eyes. I should be fine. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm like sensitive to so many things. <laughs> Retinol is one of them, which unfortunately is so good for aging, which I can't take part in. There are retinol alternatives, which I have personally found. So I will try that out on my eyes. I just have to be careful of retinol all over my face. And then they sent over their Essential Energy Eye Definer, which sounds really nice. You can just apply this and it's supposed to have some like deep puffing, lifting qualities to your under eye area. So that would be great to use prior to makeup application. I thought about doing that. And then we have the Benefiance Overnight Wrinkle Resisting Cream. So this is anti-wrinkle plumping in here. And then this looked really cool. It's their Wasso, Wasso, I think, from Shiseido. Their Beauty Sleeping Mask. I love the packaging on this. You can carry it around like this. I thought that was super cute. As always, let me know if you've tried anything in the comment section below. I'm always curious of your guys' opinions on products too, so leave your reviews down below for everyone else to check out, as well as your skin type, just to help people out with trying all these products. Then Too Faced sent over a bunch of their mini eyeshadow palettes, which I've been meaning to use in a trying new makeup, but I just kept pushing it because I have so many 
video ideas. You guys have been like pumping out the videos lately. <laughs> so things just keep getting pushed for trying new makeup. In terms of eyeshadow palettes, if you'd prefer to see the Buxom, these, anything else I show you, let me know. But these I did have intentions of showing. And I have honestly been really loving the Kitty Likes to Scratch palette, which I mentioned in the favorites, actually. This one's been getting good reviews, but the other ones have not on Sephora, I noticed. I haven't tried the other ones though, so I can't really comment on that, but this one I have been enjoying. It's a great little everyday palette, really perfect mattes for my skin tone at least, and they have some shimmers that give like a nice pop to the lid. So that's just a nice like everyday easy palette, compact. And then you guys really wanted to see That's My Jam. Use that. The color stories of all these palettes were something that actually surprised me because I feel like I haven't been that interested in Too Faced lately in terms of their eyeshadows, but these color stories actually blew me away when I saw what they did with these. And this was one of those ones that really stood out to me and you guys also. So this is That's My Jam. I just love the tones in it. I think it's really, really cool palette. And then we have Let's Play, which is so cute. Looks like a little video game which I love video games. That one's really, really pretty. Gorgeous for Valentine's Day. And then we have Light My Fire, which looks like a little matchstick box. These are so cute. And this one's the very warm tone one. Look at that mustard yellow. Super pretty. So I definitely need to play with the other ones. I like the Kitty Likes to Scratch one, but I did see that these weren't getting the best reviews, but I still need to play around and see for myself. Then Maybelline sent over a bunch of products. The thing that caught my eye the most was the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara in Ultra Black. And you guys know my love for the original Falsies Lash Lift. This is just the darker version. This is my favorite mascara currently. Not this one, but the one that's not the ultra black. So I was saving this for a try new makeup because you guys know my love for it. And I'm very, very excited to open this. <laughs> it's been hurting me to hold off. So I really need to film that trying new makeup. And then they sent over one of these Tattoo Studio Brow products. Shade is too light and too warm for me, but it's supposed to have up to 36 hour wear, which is pretty incredible. So we have some Superstay ink crayons in here and also these Ultimat little lip crayon too. And then a few more shades of their Superstay Matte Inks, which I love some of their nude formulas. These are one of the most long wearing <laughs> liquid lip products you'll ever use. Like they are locked, but they also dry out my lips. So it's one of those things that I can wear them occasionally, just not every day. But if you need something super long wearing, they have a ton of shades and they will wear. I'm saving the fragrance for last because you guys, there, there's a lot. Then Burt's Bees sent over a very generous package. They came out with a bunch of new skincare. And then they also have some of their makeup in here, which I'm also very excited to try. Some of which I have tried off camera, just playing around with. Some of the stuff I definitely wanted to try on, like this Goodness Glows Primer Hydrating and Illuminating Base which I thought would be great for a first impression. And then I have tried some of their cream blushes, specifically the shade in Guava Meringue. And these are so pretty. They have a really beautiful formulation. They go on nice and evenly, easy to work with, and they're long wearing on my skin. So I definitely recommend these blushes. If you're looking for a really nice cream blush, at the drugstore. These have really been impressing me. As you guys know, I really love their cream sticks and those were in my yearly favorites. This is definitely a more matte formulation, but look how smooth that is. It just kind of blends in with my skin and gives that tint of color. Like it's truly a beautiful formula and definitely more on the matte side. So if you didn't like how glowy those other sticks were, which I personally really like, then you definitely like these because they do dry down. I'd love to wear it right now. And then they have a couple more colors, Berry Whip and Strawberry Cream. Not wait to try those. This I've already been using. It's the Burt's Bees Rescue Balm with Turmeric, Cooling Eucalyptus. I use this on my daughter because she got that red kind of line underneath her mouth, really sore skin. And this like helped her overnight. Like it was so, so good. And then for their tinted lip balms, they did some deeper colors. So those with deeper skin can use these now because their colors before weren't as deep. So they did expand their range on here with that in mind. Then we have another moisturizing lip balm in Sweet Mandarin, which I love the smell of orange in products. Their Miracle Balm, which they showed in the Zoom meeting 
that you can use on your cheeks, your cuticles. You can use this basically for anything. So truly a miracle and I cannot wait to use that as a bomb highlight. And then we have the Wild Rose and Berry Lip Butter. Looks like this. They're squeezy tinted bombs, which have a scent to them and they smell so, so good. We have a sweet peach, watermelon rush, mandarin, and a berry sorbet, and they all smell like their respective names. So these smell incredible and give a nice tint to the lips. And then the last makeup product before skincare are these cream eyeshadows. We have honey caramel rose cream and caramel buttercream. I have tried caramel buttercream off camera, and these are long wearing. They showed using these on the skin as a highlight too, which you can definitely do. This formula, more so for me, is more of an eyeshadow. But if you're looking for cream eyeshadow, like a nice shimmery cream eyeshadow that wears beautifully, even as a highlight, like they were showing this on the skin as a highlight, it's just such a versatile, beautiful formula. Like that's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. So I have used that all over my eyelids and it's lasted all day, but I definitely wanna try that as a highlight on my skin and I love the colors that they have. So again, another versatile product, like Burt's Bees is really <laughs> stepping it up in terms of their makeup, I find. And then they have a bunch of new skincare. They have their Truly Glowing Gel Cleanser, Truly Glowing Night Cream. They have just their regular formulation of this and then one that's extra hydrating for dry skin. So two forms of the night cream and then they have their Truly Glowing Gel Cream Truly Glowing Day Lotion. This one's for dry skin. Their Truly Glowing Glow Booster, which I am very excited to test out. They are demonstrating how they use that and I was sold. And then they have their eye gel cream. And I think these two products actually have already been out before. They're facial cleansing towelettes because they don't say new on it. And then their refreshing foaming cleanser with cucumber and mint, which smells really, really nice. I like that. Then Garnier sent over their micellar cleansing water with vitamin C. This is a new micellar water that just has vitamin C in it. So if you're looking for something that removes your makeup, cleanses your skin, this also has a brightening quality to it with the vitamin C. From Avon, you can get Dr. Belmer, I think it's called, and this is their Sika Moisturizing Lip Balm, which I have yet to try. I like that it's a plain packaging because my husband needs to use lip balm, but because I do get a bunch of PR, he doesn't want to use like these like pink and stuff lip balm, so this I was saving for him to test out. So I'll get back to you on Charles' opinion. And then they also included their Intensive Face Mask with the Sika Peptide. This actually feels quite heavy for a face mask. Single use face mask that has like a lot of serum in it. Like that's weighted. <laughs> this came a little late to me, but I think this was for the holidays from Pixi. They have this multi-toning package in here. They have their retinol tonic, glow tonic, and milky tonic. They have a cute little set of their Let's Glow with their Glow Mud Cleanser, Glow Mud Mask, and their Glow Tonic. I can't use any of this, unfortunately, because I am sensitive to glycolic and clays. So I'll be passing that along. And now for one of the most exciting parts, we have fragrance. You guys know I'm a fragrance fanatic and I have a ton to go over. So first off, Atelier Cologne sent their Lemon Island over, which looks like this. And when I sprayed this, you guys, I actually got emotional and I know that's gonna sound so weird <laughs> to the majority of you. I have such attachment to scents and scent memory. Like it's very, very strong with me. And when I smelt this, this just smelt like before pandemic, seeing your family, summertime or vacation, just being able to go where you want and it smells like happiness in a bottle. And the way they described it on Sephora, it says it's the warmth of the island, the scent of your skin after bathing in the ocean and wearing sunscreen. There is something sensual, sunny, and happy at the same time. Like seriously, this is another happiness in a bottle for me. And as I said, like it was emotional experience. So when I first smelt this, I like was caught off guard. I'm like, why? am I feeling emotional about this? But it smells like summertime sunscreen. It has such a beautiful scent profile, which I'll put on the screen for you, but I can definitely smell all the facets and how they describe it truly like happiness. It does smell like sunscreen, but after you wear it, it's so weird that that's like the perfect description for it. But this is by far my favorite Atelier Cologne 
from them that I have personally smelled. This is my favorite and highly recommend something definitely different than what I personally reach for lately on an everyday basis. But because of that instant scent memory to this, like it was an instant favorite. So you're gonna be seeing this in my monthly favorites. It is a pricey fragrance. I think they have a smaller size, but for me, this is worth it. After the initial sadness, <laughs> It is truly like a happiness fragrance to me. And then Replica sent over their new bubble bath fragrance, which is a very different fragrance from what I usually gravitate towards as well. It says it has comforting clean accords and it's definitely very clean fragrance, very soapy, like for the bubble bath name, like this is truly like a soapy fragrance. And for Replica, they have this as a female and male fragrance. So this is unisex. When I personally smell this, I really, really like it. I like it more on my husband though. So this is that kind of fragrance that since it's so clean, I don't gravitate towards wearing it so much myself, but with that soapy clean vibe to it, like this smells great on my husband. So this is definitely something that I would recommend for him as opposed to myself, but I do like the smell just honestly not on myself. And then last but certainly not least, Oil Perfumery reached out to me and wanted to send me some of their fragrance oils, which you guys know I love and talk about all the time. And they sent over 17, 17 fragrance oils and they do fragrances that are impressions of designer fragrances. I absolutely love them. I've raved about them for so long. I've placed multiple orders myself for their company, so I was so excited when they reached out and wanted to gift me some of their fragrances. So I had such a fun time picking these out. I'm still going through them to try because there's so many. If you're looking for really great perfumes that are impressions of, I would definitely look into oil perfumery and they do ship out of Canada and the US. So you won't be dinged with duty if you're shopping from Canada, which is so awesome. And they're just an affordable way to have some fragrance and try out a lot if you are like me. So we have the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia Cologne. Their impression of Chanel Chance. I got another Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait so I can gift that to someone so they can experience my love for it. Replica by The Fireplace, which I got because I purchased the other Replica one and I wanted to compare the two. It smells really, really good. Very comparable to it, honestly. They do such a good job. Like I am telling you guys, if you love fragrance or even if you don't love fragrance and you always wanted to get into it, try out Oil Perfumery. They're like $15 each, I think. And they're really good price. Some of them are a little bit more. And then we have the Jo Malone Oud and Bergamot. Creed Aventus for her. I've always heard about Creed, but they're very pricey. So I wanted to try some of these. The Mason Francis Kirk John Oud which I wanted to try more of his perfumes because I love Baccarat Rouge. We have Killian Black Phantom, which I've been so into Killian lately. I've been loving their fragrances. We have Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, which I also have the actual one of this. And I wanted to compare the two. They just do it every time, honestly. We have Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Tom Ford F Fabulous which I actually really like that one. We have Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay, Creed Royal Princess Oud, Tom Ford Santal Blush, Tom Ford Oud Wood, and then Killian Good Girl Gone Bad to finish it off. So that is everything that I received in PR this month. Thank you to all the companies who sent your products my way. I truly appreciate it. I cannot wait to review and test out more of these on my channel. Things I've tried so far, I gave you guys my initial review for. And if you're curious about that Shiseido foundation, that video will be up, I think in a week's time. Still wanna test it out during the week and do my full review for that, but this is day one and so far so good. Let me know what your favorite thing was from this PR haul, what you're looking forward to trying, or things that you have already tried and have a review on please leave the comments below and help everyone out with your opinion because it's definitely helpful to have multiple people share in this community. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to do so by hitting the red button, the bell, if you want to be notified of all my future videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one.